Okay, so you may or may not have heard of climate change protests in Europe. I think one was in in France at the Louvre and one was somewhere in Germany. I don't know which museum. And both pieces of art are fine. They were behind glass because this was supposed to be a symbolic protest. They didn't actually want to destroy the paintings. Now, my my issue with these protests is not that they want to bring attention to, to um, people who are starving because of climate change. This is not my... That's not my problem. My problem is, is that how they went about it. One threw a can of soup at, um, at a painting and one threw mashed potatoes. And the only thing I can think of is that I could think of when I was watching this was, I hope that those were not fit for consumption, that they were already spoiling or that for some reason they couldn't be given to a family who did need the food. And because I get that you want to bring attention to the problem, but wasting perfectly good food when you could have just as easily donated said food to um to a needy family i mean i realize they probably didn't go out and buy in bulk or anything but couldn't you have made your statement a different way you know instead of throwing food um, I know you want to point out that there are people who you don't have the means to buy the can of soup that you just destroyed or the mashed potatoes that you just destroyed, but there's surely got to be another way to, to, um, to, Get your message across without, without um, wasting food. Now, I, I do appreciate that they at least went for paintings that were behind protective glass. So they knew that they wouldn't be, wouldn't be destroying property. I mean, obviously, someone has to pay for the cleanup. But at least you're not having to restore a piece of art. So at least at least they were conscious of that. But why not just not use food? I don't know. Throw oil at the painting. Throw um, coal. I don't know. Throw, but why food? I mean, if you want to, if you want to t say that people are starving, then why waste what food you have? Give it to those who are needy and find another way to protest. Um, so far, I know of two of such protests, which I've already mentioned, and I just, I just don't see how effective this is. I mean, did it get media coverage? Yes. Are people going to look at this protest and think, you know what? They have a point. Mm, no, probably not. It's probably not going to change anybody's mind. Those who understand climate change is happening and want to do something about it, are already in, in that mindset and are already doing something. On the other hand, if 
you either are a climate change denier or you're just like, eh, there's nothing I can do. This isn't going to change their minds either because they're just going to point out how foolish climate change protesters are. So they're not going to take you seriously. And those who are already giving, they might just roll their eyes at this protest and go about what they've been doing. Neither side is going to change the way they are living. So I just don't see the point of these protests. I mean, it has shock value, I guess. But beyond that, it really doesn't do anything to help. And like I said, what food you're using to create these protests could be given to people who need it. So, yeah, that's my views on that. So, I will see you guys next time.